What's going on, people? Ryan Williams AC here with your match preview. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Of course, share the content and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. This is the big one for us. This is probably right now the biggest game of the season. Of course, this is Arsenal's game in hand. And of course, Liverpool want to take advantage of that poor defense poor result for Manchester City against Crystal Palace, which was a nil-nil draw. So now Liverpool want to try to come to the Emirates and take advantage. And Arsenal want to try and play Liverpool. And when I mean that, I mean we are in such a good run right now and we're in good form. This is a big test. And this is where we will see so far, from the last time we battled Liverpool, from the League Cup game to the Anfield game in the league, um, well, both League Cup games, in fact. You might as well just say the whole League Cup fixtures. Where we are. Now, our last defeat against the top, against one of the big sides, was against Manchester City on New Year's Day. And let's be real, we, we should have won that game. We should have won that game, but we shot ourselves in the foot. With the sending offs, the penalty, etc., 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 and a lot has gone on since then. You know, Liverpool in fine form, eight wins in a row. Arsenal in fine form, five wins in a row. What a game this is going to be! It's going to be very tough for us. Of course, looking at the quality Liverpool possess, you know, Trent, Salah, um, Robertson, Van Dijk. Jota, Mane, listen, we can roll off Liverpool players and we know where they are right now. You know, we know the elite status that they carry right now. Look at us, you know, I mean, players in fine form, Saka, Martin Erdegaard, Thomas Partey seem to be finding his feet. You know, Martin Eddie's chipping in now, you know, which he has been doing. You know, Lacazette, hopefully he starts to turn his form in the land. I mean, off the ball, he's been doing well. He just needs to really start getting them goals in. The defence as well has been a lot better, you know. And this is where I kind of feel like this is an audition, in fact. This is probably an audition for us if we can make top four and see if we're ready for Champions League football. Because I'm not saying all the other teams that we're going to play are not auditions as well. But in terms of playing the top, top teams this is one of the this is one of the auditions for UCL football so what do we do now before I answer that question I've got another question for you guys down below Cedric or Tomiyasu Cedric's been playing pretty decent since Tomiyasu's been out of the team there's been you know a game or two where you know he might not be like mm, he hasn't really been all that but he's been pretty decent. Let's be real. Give credit where credit is due to, to Cedric. Tommy Asso, on the other hand, we know he's been out with muscle injuries. And, you know, he was coming back at one point. Then the other leg just got cramped up as well. And if you look at history, historically, they're like this season. I mean, Cedric got injured in the League Cup game. Tommy Asso played um, against Liverpool. And, you know, they both haven't really... Yeah, it just hasn't really gone well. Let's be real. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. So, my question to you guys is, do we bring back Tommy Asu? You know, because we know defensively he's better than Cedric. And Cedric going forward, let's be real, he has the most experience. You know, I do like Tommy going forward. I do, 100%. But Cedric, I mean, he's done well going forward. So, it's not a case of who's better going forward. It's about the defensive. Who can keep these Liverpool wingers quiet up in that in, in that in that right in that right back role? So let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But going back to how do we stop Liverpool, it's gonna be so tough. I'm I don't know. I feel like we're gonna have to try and counter them in terms of when Trent and Robbo get forward. We know they like to get forward and start creating chances. And we know Liverpool like to do that high, have that high line. And we need to expose that. 
But at the same time, we can't leave ourselves open because we know the quality that they have. Mane, Salah, Jota, you know what I mean? Thiago with the passes, Fabinho with the defensive. This, I mean, trying to shut down anything. This is where Martin Odegaard is going to be so important, as well as Partey and even Xhaka as well. Both Partey and Xhaka, um, in the last previous, two previous fixtures against Liverpool, especially in, in the Cup more so, they've both been sent off in both legs. So, I mean, is it redemption for them? Jack has been okay recently, being moved a little bit more forward, you know, and we know we need to upgrade from Jack, but to be fair, he's been pretty, he's been all right. He's been all right. I won't say he's been amazing, but he's been all right, you know. Um, still has some mistakes in him, but he's been okay. He's been okay. I'm not going to bash him like that. Um, Partey seems to have found what we've been looking for, found what we bought, which is good, very good. And Martin Odegaard, I mean, oh, he's just been exceptional. But they're going to be just as important as the likes of Saka and Martinelli, our goal threats, and Alexander Lacazette as well, which, you know, when I think about him dropping deep in the midfield, of course, we need our striker to go in and bang goals, but in that midfield where you've got Thiago, Fabinho, and Henderson, we might need extra help. So him dropping in there as a lover, extra physical presence, you know, I know he's small, but he's quite physical. It could be helpful, very helpful. So we'll see in it, we'll see. But the defence, they've got to be on point. They have to be on point, especially Tierney and probably Cedric, who I'm going to go for. I don't think we should pick Tommy Asu. I think Tommy Asu should just get his fitness back. We don't want to create an issue where, you know, like Thomas Partey last season where, we didn't get the best out of him. He kept getting injured left, right, and centre. We've seen that with Tom Yasu so far, where he was rushed back um, for a League Cup game, and he just got injured, and he looked pretty bad in that game. Obviously, due to fitness, he wasn't 100% fit. It was what it was. So, yeah, we really got to try and be smart here and, and how we want to try and get the win over Liverpool. So, for me... Not to ramble on too long. I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. And it's not that I don't think we could win. It's going to be very hard to beat Liverpool. But, I mean, they are the favourites. I mean, it's Liverpool. Let's be real. We are. Our home record is actually fantastic. We've only lost two games at home this season. I mean, Liverpool, tough, tough team. Tough, tough team. Our record against Liverpool at the Emirates is... It's not bad. It's really not bad at all. I mean, the last few seasons, I mean, from what I can remember, we lost last season. We won the season before that. We drew the season before that. And the season before that, someone let me know. I cannot remember the season where, or oh, was that the, no, I don't think it was that game. But yeah, I reckon against Liverpool at home, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But, Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm going for 2-2 two, two draw, actually. I think there'll be goals in this game. I do feel like we have gotten better since we last played Liverpool. But this will be the test. This will be an audition, you know, to play Champions League football if we get it, you know. And this is an advantage for us. Remember, games in hand, this is an advantage. We have to beat Liverpool to get clear of the likes of Man United, Tottenham and West Ham, who are playing each other this weekend also. Plus, we've got Aston Villa on the weekend. I will do a preview for that in the coming days. Stay tuned for that on the channel. But yeah, I'm going for 2-2. I hope Arsenal can get something out of this game. It will be tough. But I believe the boys, and I haven't said that in a while, you know. For what I've been seeing since... Slow and poor, poor start to the season. I've seen a lot of progression. I found a little bit of new hope with Arsenal, you know, in terms of where we could predominantly be if once we get some more quality in the team and a lot of these players start maturing, you know, and we could get rid of what we need to get rid of. I mean, there's not much dead wood left, to be honest, but we're. it looks like we're heading in the right direction, but... We'll find out by the end of the season. And again, this test 
against Liverpool as well as the rest of the games. So on that note, guys, I am signing off. If you like this video and enjoyed it, of course, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on this game. Cedric, Tomiyasu, what's the scoreline? And I mean, I didn't really do a predicted lineup because to be honest with you, I think we should just go with what we've been going through. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Liverpool are going to expect it and I'm sure we're going to expect what Liverpool are going to bring out. As I think both we're both going to play our main players. Obviously, obviously us minus and Tomiyasu. That's it, really. But yeah, guys, I'm out. Back soon. Peace.